I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in his presence before his precious word. For this morning's meditation, let's turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 55 to 57. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The main enemy who stands strong before man is death. Every man, whether he is rich or poor, strong or weak, is scared of death. Even though he denies denies it, to show that he is strong to face it, unknowingly man shows up symptoms that reveal that he fears death. When we look at the life of Adam and Eve, we can see that death came as the result of their disobedience to their creator God. The day when man decided to do his own will, he was dead or spiritually separated from life-giving God. And spiritual death was accompanied by physical death, which is the end of his journey in this world. And man leaves this world with great pain and regrets. Man was created by God according to his eternal plan. And so, when God blew into his nostrils, man was blessed with an eternal soul and spirit. When spiritual death separates man from God, he becomes the slave of sin, and his soul overpowers his spirit and controls his life. We cannot say that man was deceived by the enemy Satan all of a sudden. But remember, man was created in the image and likeness of God. Adam was wise enough to recognize the cunningness of the enemy, but he took the temptation very lightly. He fell into the trap of the lusts of sin, and then death took hold of him very easily. Death can install its poison only through sin, which is its sting. Look at the loving care of God. as god could have allowed man to taste physical death also the same moment when spiritual death took place instead god gave him some time in between so that man if he wants can repent and turn towards god enoch who walked with god did not taste death and it was a sign for man that death cannot hold them if they have a right relationship with their creator That is why we can see that the word sleep is used even in the Old Testament to show about death. Only the relationship with the creator can ease the poisonous pain of spiritual death. The righteousness and justice of God can never ignore the rebellious act of man. It demands that the soul that sin shall die. In the garden of Eden, man was spared from death. The physical one as an innocent animal was killed for them. their life was spared and that act that happened in the garden of eden was a shadow of the great sacrifice that was about to happen on the cross later on nowadays the world is preparing itself for good friday and then to celebrate easter and there are many rituals added to it lent easter egg hunting and many other things but does man really understand the great sacrifice that happened on on the cross death which was ruling man with its fear lost its grip over man through the sacrifice of the holy lamb of god the holy lamb of god tasted death in our stead upon the cross we need to understand that the physical pain which the lord endured upon the cross is not the true pain of death but it is the pain which our lord endured in the tormenting place is the real pain of death which every soul has to endure because our soul and spirit are the real culprits who enjoy sin to its fullest the body will go back to the dust from where it was taken but it is the soul and spirit that will never die the true culprit that needs to be punished through modern science and the developed technology man can easily endure the pain of physical death now some countries have even come up with the idea of helping man to suffer death without pain but man forgets the fact that real death is not the pain which we suffer in our body but it is the pain which our soul and spirit suffers in the eternal hell we know about the incident of the rich man where he begs to the lord for a drop of water that is why jesus said that it is better to cut off your organ than than dra- that drags you towards sin 
rather than ending up in hell. Once death has its hold upon your soul and spirit in hell, there is no escape. But thank God, we have victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Man Christ Jesus tasted death for us. As Christ Jesus was holy, death could not hold him in hell. And when we believe in that salvation work of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we too will enjoy the freedom from the fear of death. We can also sing with boldness, O oh death, where is your victory? O oh death, where is your victory? I have been delivered from the poisonous sting of death through Lord Jesus Christ. It is the blessed gift which we have received from God through the sacrifice of Christ Jesus. If Christ Jesus did not suffer the pain of death in the tormenting place, then I must suffer that pain after my separation from my body. But thank God the pain of death has been loosened by the sacrifice of the Lord. None in this world can ever give you this blessed salvation. As a child of God, can you face death and proclaim victory? Let us not allow death to have grip upon us through its poisonous sting. If any man who hears my voice still experiences the pain of death in his soul and spirit, then it is high time to come to the foot of the cross and be delivered from the poisonous sting of sin. Yes, the Lord is ready to deliver you from sin. He will forgive all your sins by His abundant mercy. Let us not waste our time and regret later on like the rich man in the tormenting place. Life is very precious. The coming of the Lord is very near. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time. Thank you for your precious word and thank you for the great hope that you have given us. Through you, we are victorious over death. We don't have to be afraid of it. Thank you for the eternal life that you have given us. Father, help us to love you and cherish you and trust you. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless all of you. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.